get ready and some coffee. Get ready! Because if we don't practice our playing, it can become irritating. Irritating. Ah, yes. One of your earth emotions. And if we really stop practicing, the tating moves beyond our ear, rapidly spreading the way radical stupidity, ironically, spreads through college campuses. Certain you don't know what irritation is? In fact, one of my ancestors married a human female. Yeah, that'll learn you some irritation. But hopefully in a fun way. Well, you always miss when you throw your underpants at the hamper. Well, how can I ever hit the hamper if you don't let me practice? <laughs> anyway, anyways, the irritation can spread to hesitating, to backitating, ultimately resulting in the entire body being corporolitating. Practice all day on my birthday. And that's a lot of tating to take. That is a lot to take in all of a sudden. So let's practice. Let's practice. <laughs> Me, 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 me! Because, because too much tating may make you as sad as Joe Biden. Today will never get so back. I'm so bored! But Lisa, you're still complaining from your throat, not your diaphragm. I was so bored! On that terrible day when he found out his uncle was eaten by cannibals. I learned that President Nixon had been eaten by white cannibals on an island near Tijuana for no good reason at all. Where he was like, we, we, never, we never recovered the body because cannibals. And uh, they never found the body because there used to be there a lot of cannibals for real. But luckily we were able to find some solace on that sad day. You hear a lot of savage and unnatural things about people these days. By retrieving and burying a hefty piece of the of the chieftain cannibal's crap. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I, I'm not sure I believe that presidential story either, Phil. I mean, a giant lion's head made of fire? I'm not even sure I believe it. I mean, that, that tail's taller than a giraffe on stilts for crying out loud. Yeah, but still, it makes me sad that his brain no longer works. Especially when it never worked so well to start with, so to make him feel better, let's hire him to rule the world. Because that's the nice thing to do. Oh my goodness, Phil. You, you have so irritated me. That, that's like hiring Elmer Fudd to lead us into war or something. To apologize to me publicly for calling me stupid. Five. That... That's like hiring Forrest Gump to put together a game plan when he doesn't know which end zone is his. That's like, that's like asking Ron Burgundy to write his own script. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy? Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? I mean, that, okay. That's like hiring some college student radical majoring in like how communist theory applies to cooking tuna salad to, to help us make money in a blessedly capitalistic country as we try to contribute to society by actually growing a business rather than tearing them down. I mean, it's crazy talk, Phil. It's crazy talk. By the way, wh wh what did you major in, Phil? Okay, no. Please, Phil. T t take off the kafia and stop putting your forehead to the ground in prayer like that. We, we all know you're a Western intellectual atheist, not religious in any way for crying out loud. Honestly, you're not even, you're not even doing it right, Phil. The wrong end of your body pointing at the Kaaba. Oh no, now, now, now Phil's chanting, down with capitalism, up with Sharia law. Well, well, cutting off the head of a wicked doll shaped like George Washington? Honestly, Phil, I, I think you're mixing up the whole wicked witchcraft thing with the Sharia law thing when they're totally, they're totally not the same thing, Phil. Whatever, dude. I'm, I'm just going to play some music. The, the, today's lesson being the Star Spangled Banner. And don't cut that part out, Phil.